So you finally finish your game and you're ready to show the world. Great, then you fell at the right place. This tutorial will show you how to publish it to the Google Play Store. Before we get started, you will need your game project, promotion images of your game, and we'll talk about it in a moment, and then a Google Play Developer account, which we'll also talk about. So let's get started. Alright, so the first step is all about getting your Sign APK. Now, a Sign APK is basically the Android build of your game, plus information on the publisher, a secret password, and then some metadata for the game such as the code version and the application version. Once you've got your Sign APK, you will then need to have a Google Play Developer account. Now, a Google Developer account is a one-time fee for 25 USD, which is pretty cheap, considering Apple's account, the equivalent of that for Apple, are 90 bucks every single year. So you've got your sign APK, your developer account, now you will need some promotion images for your game. The minimum you must provide is a single high resolution icon, a banner, and three screenshots of in-game action. Now of course the more you provide, the better your landing page will look. And also if you're building this for tablet as well, I really recommend that you add some promotion images for these, else you won't show up in their search result. So you've gathered everything and then you feel the game is ready. The next step is to actually upload all of that on your Google Dev account. You will then provide some more information, give a content rating, and then everything is going to be good to go. So your game is now available for the world to see, congratulations. Alright, so you've got your Unity project open, your game is working, everything seems to be working just fine and you are ready to upload it. So, the step we're gonna take is we're gonna go under File, Build Settings, Player Settings. And now there is few information to put in there before we actually build that sign APK. So, first off, you're gonna need to set a company name up here, a product name, and then finally go in other settings and also set a bundle identifier, that is really important. Of course, a version as well and a code version. Now you should be setting this on, say, if you're not done with your game just yet, you can be putting this on 0.1, that would be some kind of beta, and the bundle call version is always something you increment by one every time. And that's pretty much all we need in the other settings. Now the really important part of this is the publishing settings, the one you see down here. So um, once you actually open this for the first time, you should not have any information typed in, so I'm just going to remove mine. You should actually have to create a new key store. Now to do that, you are actually going to click on new key store, create a new key store, then browse it on your explorer. So here is my old keys that I used before. I'll just to do a test, that's not my real key. You never actually delete your real key. So that was just a test key. And then once you've got that, um, once you actually chose a place where you want to put your key, then you are going to simply save it and it's going to ask you for a password. So you're basically creating a password for your key. Let me just type in something really quickly. And that's it. So now we've got a key store, they call. And those key store, they hold the keys in it. So the key store is pretty much just to identify you as a publisher, and then the key is for every si single uh, game that you have. So here is the key down here. Right now, this is the game that I call the stack. And if we go under alias, it is not there. So we got to be creating a new key for every single game we have. Now I'm going to go under create new key, alias is the stack, then a password specific to that game, validity that's uh, of course for licensing stuff, so 50 years is fine. First and last name, type in your real information because if there is uh, some issues with Google at one point, then they're going, they're going to be asking you for that information. So this is just really to confirm who you are and um, also something that I haven't mentioned. If you lose your key, you're pretty much done. Your application does not really belong to you anymore. It still belongs to you, but you're not able to approve that you're the publisher. You're not able to prove that you're the uh, content owner of that. And uh, it also stops you from uploading something. So if you're trying to do an update on that very application, then you can't if you don't have that key. So it's really important that you keep you keep it uh, somewhere safe. Now city, you just put in your city, state, same thing. And country code is always two capital letters. So CA if you're from Canada, PH from Philippines, US for US, of course. And once you're done filling all that information, you are going to hit create key. 
Now, in your um, in your Windows installation somewhere, there should be a key wherever you actually put it. And once you're done creating your key, make sure that you go back under alias, and then you have to choose the game that you just made it for because it does not do it automatically. Okay, so that information is there. You've got your key somewhere saved on your PC, somewhere safe. You are going to go under File, Build Settings, and actually build this APK file. And here you go. You now have your sign APK right here. So that's your sign APK. Once you've got that, you can head over to Google Play, the Google Play Developer Console. Now, of course, you need to be signed in before you do that. So um, make sure you actually make an account. And like I said before, that's 25 USD, but it is for a lifetime. So once you've got that, you sign in, you're going to see this nice dashboard and you can click on add new application. Of course, you add the title of your application, in this case, test stack, and you hit upload APK. Right, so here is the new window we've get. It says upload your new APK to production. You click on that, then you find your APK, in this case, my build that I just made right now. Drag and drop this right here, or you can do browse file if you're not using a uh, recent browser. And now if this gives you an error saying that your, um, your APK is not signed, that is because you forgot to actually choose your key down here. You might have your publisher key right, but you don't have any alias down here. You actually went under unsign, which is an error we do quite often because it does not switch automatically. So here we go, that's our APK file. It is uploaded, now we need to put some more information. So as you can tell over here on the left, we see a green check mark. Now you need to have four green check mark before you actually hit publish. So if we go under store listing, then you'll need a title. We've got a title, a description, a description, full description. Now of course you want to be putting some relevant information in the description field, but I've already uploaded mine before, so I'll be deleting this one after end. And uh, if we scroll down, you need to add some screenshots. So find some screenshots that you've took of your game. I remember taking some over here. And I can simply um, just feed them that. So screenshot number one, screenshot number two, and screenshot number three. Now, if you have some tablet screenshot, just go ahead and upload them as well. So you actually show up in the search result for those. A high res icon, which is really important because that's going to be the, the thing that shows up uh, for a new search result. Now the banner, when you're on the PC, you don't actually see it anywhere. I don't think you see it anywhere, but when you're on your phone, it's actually taking quite a big spot in the screen. So you might want to be putting a lot of work in this one. Um, promo video, that could also be really cool, so if you have a video, you can simply link the YouTube video in there, and it's going to be playing in the uh, landing page. And then application type, you say it's a game, arcade, um, everyone, you just keep filling all that information, everything that has a uh, asterisk next to it needs to be filled, and also privacy policy, you need to either find one, or you're not sub submitting one. Okay, so we click on save draft and let's see if this check mark turns green and it does. So that means we're ready to publish with the store listing. Now, if it does not turn green, that means you forgot at least one information and you can simply hit why can't I publish up here and it's going to tell you why. Now in our case, it says that we haven't done all of this and that's because we're not done with all the four green check marks. So let's go under content rating and this is where you actually answer some question about your game and it is going to give you a content rating basically. So you click on continue. You're going to need to find a valid email address. This is going to send you the, the um, actual result. You're going to see it on the screen but you're going to be also having a message for that content rating. So we have a game. Does the game content violence? No. Fear? No. Sexuality? Either. Uh, gambling? Nope language. Now your game can have those things. It doesn't it doesn't cause any problem, but uh, of course the rating is going to change. So in my in my case, I don't have any of those. So if I do save and I'll calculate the rating, then it's going to give me 
uh, this rating. So that's pretty much for everyone starting at the age 3. Then we apply the rating and we should be done with this section. And finally, pricing and distribution. So you either say if your application is paid or free, in my case it is free, and you can say distribute in this country all of these because you're not blocking your application from anywhere, unless you are. That's really up to you. And uh, this section is just an April Fool, so let's just forgot about that. Uh, does it have ads? And you either say yes or no. So in my case, I don't have any ads. And that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to hit save draft. It should be fine now. Or it's not. So I'm missing at least one information. Let me see why I can't publish. So I need to acknowledge that this application meets the content guideline. Let me go down at the bottom over here. And also the US export law. We save the draft. Everything is now ready. As you can see, the four check marks are here. And we can finally hit publish app up here. Now, we're not going to be able to see this, but basically what's going to happen is uh, they're going to make sure everything is fine. And once they give you the go, then it is going to be uh, on Google Play. And I'm just going to give you an example of what it gives us. This is what it going, it's going to give you. So basically just this landing page, like every other application on Google Play, you see your picture that you've uploaded. You also um, see the rating, the description, all that kind of good stuff is over here. So guys, that should be pretty much it. Your app should be on Google Play really shortly, as soon as they uh, actually approve it. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any question or comment, you can leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this or if you learned something, please leave me a like, really appreciate that. And also subscribe for more tutorial. Thanks for watching once more, and I'll see you in the next episode.